to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to analyze a volatility 75 index and I'm going to start from a uh, one week time frame from the weekly time frame. So looking at the price, uh, past price action, we can see that price has taken this sell side liquidity that rests below this uh, relative equal loss. So price has uh, purged this sell side liquidity and um, uh, after that we can see how price uh, came back here and tapped into this order block. We have a bullish order block right here. Sorry. This is MT4. So uh, this is MT5. So please, it will be misbehaving. Don't mind the misbehavior. Okay. So price came back and tapped into this uh, bullish order block, as you can see. So now. Uh, the reason why I start with the weekly time frame is for us to see where the next draw on liquidity will be throughout the net, uh, throughout the week. Okay, so uh, logically here, uh, we 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 saw how price uh, took out the sell side liquidity, and then uh, this area should be uh, this thing smart money reversal. And we also have an, uh, a bullish order block that has been uh, mitigated. So now, uh, based on what I, I I am expecting is I want to see price uh, uh, going towards the the next draw of liquidity, which I think is going to be this sell side imbalance, this this large imbalance, uh, or rather you call it a uh, pay value gap. Okay, and when you look closely, when you look closely, you can see that we have a relative equal highs, this high and also this high before the sell side imbalance. So this is where I think the next draw of liquidity is going to be. Okay, so now um, let's go to uh, daily time frame. On daily time frame, uh, we can see clearly how uh, price mitigated this uh, bullish uh, bullish order block and it also took out uh, sell side liquidity over here uh, leaving behind this uh, or okay already this pay value gap has been mitigated if you take a closer look and we have a break of market structure or rather you call it a shift in market structure and this high two was broken this high two was broken and when we when, when you take a closer look again these are relative equal high so sell side liquidity has been taken and now uh over here we can say uh retail breakout traders have been trapped their stop loss over here have been taken so here uh price if we take this delay range from from this low to this high price came back all the way to a discount area which was this uh bullish order block and now price is repricing higher. Uh, I think price will be uh, trading towards this buy side liquidity pace before coming into this uh, liquidity full. This is the weekly uh, sell side imbalance as I explained earlier. Okay, so now let's check a uh, four hour time frame to see if we can get uh, more details. All right, uh, this is four hour time frame. This is four hour time frame and on four hour time frame uh, on four hour time frame we have uh, this break of market structure. Let me show you. We have this low. This low was sorry, this high. This high was broken. This high, this swing high. This high was broken. So we have our break of market structure and and don't forget. Uh, right over here is a liquidity pouch. So we have this break of market structure and price consolidate for a while return back to this uh, bullish order block and then reprice higher. So right now I am expecting a bullish price right from weekly time frame down to four hour time frame as you see. I'll be expecting for a bullish price. I'll be expecting for a bullish price and 
on lower time frame too we can see how uh, the market has been respecting structure because uh, this volatility, uh, this uh, synthetics index you are seeing, they respect a lot of structures more than any other thing else. Okay, and I would advise you personally, based on my experience with them, is do not be over complicating things. Okay, just make sure. Your analysis on the volatility uh, in uh, on the synthetics index is aligning with market structure. Make sure your analysis is aligning with market structure because they respect that more than every other thing. Okay, so on a one hour time frame, on a one hour time frame. Sorry, uh, let's see if we can get uh, things more clearer. This uh, pair value gap was left. This little favor look up with other block attached to it was left unmitigated and price capitalized on this bullish order block. Sorry, the network is going up and down. Please excuse me for a while. It is hanging, but I am sure it will just be all right very soon yeah all right i think it is fixed now okay so you see uh, on this place uh today the market uh, uh the market retrace and respect this bullish order block but uh i'm still expecting price to trade back to this uh bullish uh, pay value gap which, which is having a, a bullish order block just beneath it. So I'm expecting price to retrace down to this bullish order block, a bullish fair value gap, which is having an order block. Because here we can see uh, what the retail called, what the retail uh, referred to as break a retest. The market broke the structure here. It took out this high, came back and respect this area. The ICT student will call this mitigation block and it is having an order block so price tap into the order block and the price higher. But the reason why I am expecting price to at least come back all the way here before the pricing higher is if you take this uh, if you take this low to with this high, let me uh, anchor my Fibonacci and let's see something. So taking this low all the way to this high Sorry. Yeah. taking this low all the way to that high uh, you realize that price did not retrace uh, fully into discount it just uh, retraced a little bit below the 50 percent and what i realized the most is this uh the algorithm that is responsible for moving price on synthetics index they mostly most of the times what i have seen is they like to retrace deep down into the discount or deep down into the premium price when they are trying to go short so with that logic and with that experience i am personally expecting this low to be taken out and this fair value gap to be capitalized before uh, continue to the price high. So this is my expectations and um, I'll be, I will be watching the price closely. If price give me something tangible, let's say I have a contract trade sell that I will catch down to this uh, area I'm expecting to go long, then I will be glad to take that trade. If price decided to just keep pushing up, without giving the deeper retracement I'm expecting, then that's also fine. I am, after having uh, an A-plus setup, maybe I will just uh, I will just read the tape and come back tomorrow. If I see something tangible, then I take the trade. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will screenshot this and send in the group. Uh, please make sure you subscribe and like the video. If you have any question, you can ask in the group. Thank you for watching.